Okay, so we are going to learn about very important concept called data driven testing. It's a framework. Framework in the sense is structured design. Okay, so we'll talk about that. So what is data driven testing in Selenium and how to use it? See, this data driven testing comes into picture whenever we have huge data to be tested. Okay, so assume that you want to test a application where with a multiple set of data you need to test that application okay take an example of some form so you need to test with multiple data multiple set of data you have valid invalid data to test it okay so if you enter manually one by one so it happens as a manual testing isn't it even if you use scanner class of java and if you enter it uh, using keyboard that doesn't falls under automation so how it should work actually it should be automated in the sense you need to write all that tested data or data what you want to send to the application in some location some x location from there you need to send that to the test okay this process is known as data driven or parameterization the term parameterization indicates providing tested data to the script while executing the script that is what parameterization means okay okay data driven driving data to the script from sources that source can be as i said it can be database excel sheet flat file functions xml file property file or any other okay so from here from different sources right these are all the sources it can be any source like it can be database if you have a huge data you can store it in database you can use it in some flat file in the sense notepad or xml file or excel from there we need to send that data to the script okay or to your execution part so that we call as a data driven because we are driving the data from external sources these are all external sources isn't it yes so this process is also known as parameterization because your script the script what we have written it doesn't have any hard coded values okay all the values we are sending to the script only while executing it okay so once you click on run system connect to your source it can be database it can be flat file or whatever from there it will pick the data and it will send to the test case so this process is known as parameterization okay parameterization if you want you can take a note parameterization providing test data to the script while executing the script okay so while execution only we are going to send the data to the script but see most of the cases to do this data driven testing or if you have a huge set of data in a simple words and if you want to test with the data generally in the organization we are going to write all that data in the excel sheet in the excel sheet itself that is the most common method okay so reading the data from the excel sheet sending it to the test is very much common practice but un unfortunately we don't have any direct method from selenium to read or to write the data from the selenium we don't have any direct method or any direct classes which may help to write read or write data from the excel so to read or write the data from the excel using selenium you need to rely on some third party apis so apache pui is most commonly used api to read and write data from excel or to excel respectively this is third party apache pui and as i said earlier earlier we used to have java j excel and few other libraries also but apache pui is most commonly used trusted and excellent way to read or write data from the excel okay the beauty of apache pui is we can work with both versions of excel Excel has two versions like Excel SX and Excel S, right? So Excel SX is the latest format and Excel S is the old format. But your Apache PO has ability to work with both the versions. So that's the reason people started using this third party library called Apache PO. Okay. 